G'day Brewers, Liam from Cooper's DIY Beer here, and today we're going to be talking about brewing better beer. Why do we call that? Because I want you to make better beer, and I love alliteration. So the first three rules of making better beer is sanitise, sanitise, sanitise. For making beer, it's a big war between microbes and yeast, and you want to win that war by sanitising your fermenter. Now that we've covered off sanitation, the next rule is fresh is best. Now always check the dates in the bottom of your can just to ensure your ingredients are as fresh as possible. My next tip for brewing better beer is that white sugar from the cupboard, forget about it. We've got a range of brewing adjuncts that'll improve your beer and give you more mouthfeel and head retention. Now we tell you which ones to use on the side of the brewing extract, but if you want to experiment, we have descriptions on what each one does in the front of the box. Now the next tip is temperature control. Now yeast, they're pretty picky. They like to have just the right environment to produce the same consistent beer. Now if they get too hot, they might produce some flavours that are undesirable, and if they're too cold, they might not finish you fermenting. So what we do is we have recommended temperature ranges on the side of our brewing extracts to tell you the recommended temperature for that yeast. Now the easiest way to do it is to brew to your environment. You want to keep your beer temperature stable throughout the fermentation, so the best thing you can do is pick a consistent temperature room in your house. If you've got a laundry or a cellar, or even under the stairs, somewhere where it's not fluctuating in temperature and day and night, and you get the best beer possible. Try brewing a beer which matches the temperature of your location. So if it's a bit cooler where you are, you can look at brewing a lager, but if it's a bit warmer, look at brewing an ale. But there are a few tips that you can do to brew a beer outside of your geographical range, and we'll tell you now. So if you're in a warmer location, you can go all out and get a bar fridge with a temperature controller and chuck your fermenter in there, and that'll keep a great consistent temperature and make a great beer. Otherwise, a cheaper option that we have is to use a towel. Wrap it on your fermenter, wet the towel, put a fan on it, and you've got evaporation. If you're in a cooler environment, duck down to your local homebrew store, grab a heat belt, wrap that one around your fermenter, or get a heat mat and put that under your fermenter. That'll keep your beer nice and warm and your yeast happy. So while important, fermentation temperature isn't the be-all and end-all. We've selected our yeast to ferment in a wide range of temperatures, so just be sure to check the side of the can, we'll give you the range of fermenting. If you've got any other questions, check out our website.